when I want to record video and take pictures or when I'm trying to conform them all to the same frame rate I can just use a loop before I was using the Evermedia which is a 720p version but then I switched to the 1080p version only because the 1080p version allows 60 frames per second when you're doing an independent recording without a computer. This version only allows um, 24 frames per second. And it's pretty easy to make the loop. All you do is connect it to the HDMI output. You give it some um, power through a USB port and plug it into the Evermedia Live Gamer you open up whatever it is you want to on your computer or whatever your HDMI output is. You press the record. It starts its little blink and record light showing that um, you're ready. And then you go ahead and, and play whatever it is. And everything that is um, playing goes ahead, comes out through your HDMI, gets funneled through the live media recorder. And when you want to stop it, you just go ahead and press that again. And then you have a recording. So if you shoot some things in 24p, some things in 30p, some things in 280 or whatever it is you're shooting, this just allows you to make everything one frame rate. And so when you're putting everything together, say you filmed something in 24p and something in 60p, if you do the loop, you can make everything end up in 60p and you don't have to worry about different frame rates and speeds and things. Here I am shooting one of my son's football games. This is my hybrid video photo rig. The lens is the older non-OS Sigma 50 to 500 f4 to 6.3 Nikon F mount. I'm using the Viltrox NF-Z adapter. I'm not sure what the firmware is for that. The camera is my Z6 with a small rig cage. The Z6 IBIS in body makes up for the lack of IBIS in the lens. I made a brace which is bolted to the lens tripod mount and to the bottom of the camera cage with the Simpson tie Z bracket from the hardware store. I also made a cable brace to protect the base of the HDMI cable from breaking the camera port or disconnecting from the camera. The HDMI cable is connected to my Avermedia portable recorder in my backpack. It's the 720 version. I also have a USB power bank in my backpack to power the recorder and any other devices. There is also a micro sound recorder mounted to the top of the camera cage and an auxiliary sound cable running to the video recorder in my backpack. All the wires are Velcro together with ties from the hardware store. I keep a mini HDMI screen handy to playback video or I have a card reader and that's for my phone. I have a belt pouch for filters and I also have pouches for batteries on my camera strap. I wear a tripod on a sling. I just use an old neck strap from other cameras and I use that as the sling. I have an Insta360 camera and it's mounted also on the cage with a USB cord running to the backpack battery. I keep a flash and a pouch on my belt the belt is a, it's a Velcro adjustable wide and non-stretchy with a seat belt style clasp that was made, I guess, as a, a law enforcement underbelt. I am wearing a dual camera sling. So pretty much everything is accessible without taking off my backpack or filtering through things. It's just close by me. And it means I can run, walk, sit down, and access most of my stuff.